I just wanna know, baby, if I hit your phone Is you picking up, baby, tell me what you want Never get no fuss, baby, I was all alone Yo, 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 welcome back everybody. Today we're here to break down the all so mighty Nike Air Jordan 1 UNC North Carolina colorway. It's not really UNC, it's more just the Air Jordan 1 High Carolina Blue. If you want to officially pronounce it that way, that's the way to go about it. Now today is a pretty hectic day. If you didn't know, uh, the Cause Brooklyn exhibition is going on right now. The re reason why this video might be out a bit late is just because he just went over to that. Uh, unfortunately, the figure sold out right in front of our faces, but if you're not interested in Cause, you can skip forward. But we did get the tote bag right here, one of the last ones as well. If you didn't go yet, I highly recommend going because the fact is, yo, also, I throw shit gently. Don't worry, it's a clean room. I saw people comment in my last unboxing like, oh, yo, you're disrespecting shit. Yo, I bought it myself. It's okay. All right. Oh, uh, we got some Cause what parties. We got this thing right here, all pretty much just junk. We got all the figures online though, so we're not worried. We're gonna have a massive, massive unboxing for that. Uh, I just wanna put you guys on Cause what Port out to go there as soon as possible if you're trying to buy some stuff. Uh, that did sell it online, but once again, Time Boy TV Plus, we absolutely destroyed that online release. We told members before it went down, no one else really knew about it. And of course, you know, members cooked up. We got over like, I think over 100 checkouts on that site alone, and then Cause again yesterday. But anyways, without further ado, we're gonna be talking about this shit right over here. If I can pick it up, make sure it don't drop. Here we go. We got the UNC. We do got them early. Not exclusive access. I wish it was. This is the GS pair right over here, as you guys can see. Voila, voila. Floor and hand review will be coming Friday. As per always, the day before release is what we'd like to do. I feel like it's a good it's a good time to post for this. Maybe a little bit too late, but it is what it is. And we got the rare, also mighty, you know what I'm saying? Seven and a half men's right over here, UNC. Beautiful, absolutely fucking beautiful, bro. Uh, would I tow it? No, <laughs> because the colorway is too bright for me, and not my style. But yo, ah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So without without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the how to copy. Guys. All right, y'all, you know how we like to do it. First up, we got to teach you guys all about how to get in with these raffles. Now, raffles for this release, as for every single release we talk about recently, is just your main way to go about. It's like 70% raffles and the rest are first come first serve. And if you go in store, that's like another, I want to say like 40%. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, 140%. It's 140%, that's what we're talking about. So we got the Journal 1 High University Blues right over here. Oh, uh, you got some retailers. Well, most retailers already have releases up for the time being. Once again, you can get this app for free. All I ask you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a nice comment or bad comment down below. Oh, uh, you can really just add it to your home screen on your iPhone. I think it should work on Android, but if it doesn't, you know, just get an iPhone. That's that. Then the iPhone's way better. That's all I'm gonna say. We got a few different retailers already have their raffles live. Oh, uh, you wish Atlanta, you got Sneaker Politics, more of like your high tier boutiques already got the raffles live. Or well, pretty much every single store should have a raffle live by now. Today is Wednesday. And that's why I like to hold off on these videos to a little bit later in the week and, and in turn uh, than the beginning of the week. But once again, I'm a Minier Unknown. Uh, what I recommend doing, enter all as many as you possibly can. I know Kith right now is in store only. That's like Soho, Brooklyn, Miami, Los Angeles. Uh, do as many as you possibly can. Now, some of them are Instagram raffles, you know, here and there. You got concepts going live tomorrow. You got feature. You got shop nice kicks. Basically, all this is a fat, fat retailer list right here. And they're going to be very, very crucial. Of course, you got your calendar over here as well and all that type of jazz. But anyways. We go on to Nike sneakers, which honestly I would usually say is your best chance at copying it. But from my rumored stock numbers that I'm getting, it's not looking too hot. It's not really looking too hot for Nike. It's the rumor to be just less. Right now, for the time being, uh, there's less than like 15,000 pairs loaded up on sneakers, which is extremely low. Typically, we would see around 30,000 pairs or so for a release like this. We would like to see that at least. Will we actually see it? I don't know. Some people said that it's off into the Atlantic Ocean and transport from China to America. That shoes got lost in the ocean in transit. I wonder where they went or something happened to them. Truth be told, I couldn't tell you exactly what, but there could possibly be stock loaded up as time goes as it gets closer to Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern, which is when this thing will be releasing on the also mighty Nike Singers app. And listen, yo, that kid that got busted for having his mom's be his plug. Hey, Leo, that's not the reason why you're losing sneakers. Right off the bat, that's not the reason why you're losing sneakers. It's sneakers is why you're losing sneakers. By the way, if you didn't know, Nike GMs, Nike managers themselves, they're the main reason why you're probably taking those. As a collective group, it's not just one. I mean, one maybe, but majority, it's it's really just Nike employees to be really doing the, doing the dirty work out there. But anyways, as you can see, no shade at all. Please send me some pairs, Nike. I would love to take some Ws. We got them retailing for $170 US dollars, dropping at 10 a.m. on this Saturday. As you can see, it's one of those colors that are just going absolutely stupid. Now, the last quote-unquote UNC clover that we saw dropped last year, the UNC Obsidians, that's when we saw the old retail tag on shoes at $160 for men's, $130 for uh, GS, or $120. Now, yeah, $120 for GS. 
we ca we caught those like sitting kind of like had leftovers. They were going for retail, and now people woke up after Mocha. It's just like a Mocha V2. It's like another re release like that. Like people aren't sleeping on these prices. Aren't going to dip down. They're going to hold their value really really well. GS sizes are going to be the main money maker out there. Compare it to uh, retail versus resale prices. Quality on this shoe is also beautiful. It's beautifully buttery leather, exactly how I would like. Now, will I wear it? No. It's also the same quality as Mocha's, I'd want to say. It's similar leather, but this whole, like, Nubuck suede shenanigans going on is just like Mocha's. And if you scroll down, this is where you can enter for GS sizes, which are retailing for $130. US um, They look a little bit funky in this image, I'd have to say, but overall, 100% worth the buy. And uh, it's it's going to be a release where prices don't dip down. Like, Topes, they shot up and kind of been staying around that area. UNC is the same thing. Mocha's have, like, shot up, went down a little bit, and then went up back again and, like, went up really, really fast. And now kind of stagnant around, like, the 450 $480 range. But local sales, I'm telling you, are just moving for them. Like, they're going for 500 plus locally near me. And um, I definitely recommend going to local sales specifically if you want to go about selling this shoe. Now, copying it for the toe, it's a great shoe. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like you're going to see everybody and their mama trying to be wearing this shoe on the regular in the summer. So you're not going to be, it's not going to be exclusive. It's just going to be a wide release. It's not as wide though as most people think. I know there's a rumor of 130,000 pairs out there going by Instagram and Twitter. Listen, you do you, but take a take it with a grain of salt, all these Instagram and Twitter stock numbers, because every source will tell you differently. But we got foot sites up next. Right now, foot sites are looking to be around 20,000 pairs or so. Could be a little bit less once it does get loaded up. By the way, if you're located in Miami, if any of you out there, you live in Lavish right now, I can tell you that much. You got a bunch of raffles going on for the grand opening. You got Volts, Biohacks. You also got Mocha somewhere. I can't find it on this in the screen. But you got Mocha's up there, so make sure you guys check it out if you're living near Miami. But here we go into Full Locker. We got the women, the men's sizes loaded up over here. Once again, jumping into just men's and grade school sizes in two days, 16 hours, 17 minutes, and 25 seconds, excluded from discount, one per person. Listen, bots are going to take foot site stock. So if you're going manual, Listen, if you don't take a W like on a finish on or JD Sports, which is my best recommendation, if you're going to want to wait out the release for manual boys, then just call it quits. You're going to spend so much time and so much anger is going to come out of you spending time on this and telling you manual, it's really, really not worth it. You have like a one per, I mean, take any shot you can get. I'm all about that positivity, but let's be real here. Hitting it with a 1% shot for Locker is very, very slim. Bots are just going to take stock. Now, if you're a botter out there, it could be what we just saw in the top fours where they didn't push stock, like even for manual boys. They didn't have any stock loaded up on the site for like the first 15, 20 minutes of the release. And they slowly, slowly started putting it out. So if you're botting it, even if you're shooting your 1% shot, stay consistent with it. You're going to have to be on it for like, I see this release probably going for like two, three, maybe even four hours. Like Topes, there's checkouts coming, like a fat checkout stream at like 1.30 p.m. Eastern time or so. And the release was once again, same time, 10 a.m. Eastern. So keep that in mind. Now, we do have insta reservations. You can see we're out of breath. We got insta reservations going on right now. I know Champs and Foot Action, I think East Bay, most locations are limited to no GS pairs. So keep that in mind as you're going into it. But they will most likely all be dropping men's and GS online. It looks like this release, for the most part, fights since we're getting somewhat decent stock. It's not like what we saw with the Royal Toes. So what I want to say was the last great foot site release where people were checking out crazy. Even manual boys were checking out crazy. Like, that was just... The premier, if we could go back to that time where we get, saw Royal Toes released that way, if we could see UNC's drop that way, bro, everyone's rich, everyone's happy, everyone's making money, prices wouldn't even drop that much. For that's just not how we're rocking anymore with this stupid capture system and this whole Aiden PV system, it's just not how it's rocking anymore. But anyways, as you can see, Foots is really getting them, so make sure you go for those if you uh, want to waste your time manually. If you're going botting, you know what to do. Now, anyways, if you want to look at my gracious L from the happened today, we got Ben on Finish Line and JD Sports from trying to do this raffle. I don't know why. It is what it is. We got banned. We still can't log into our app and find out if we won or not. So um, hopefully by you, by the way, if you did it, you have until tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. So March 4th, 3 p.m. Eastern is your last hour to check in and confirm you're winning from Finish Line or JD Sports. So keep that in mind. If you're banned like me, use Wi-Fi, use LT, use different devices, do something, you know, just to figure it out. And as you can see, I'm banned on even the blog. It's a different, uh, it's a different uh, site than FinishLine.com. It's blog.FinishLine.com, and I'm still banned on them. That's just how we rock it. We got banned in store, now we're banned online. I don't know how they found me, but they found me. As you can see here, though, we got them loaded up on Detail R, which did shock drop the top four GS hazes today. Um, interesting, interesting how that went. But we got them loaded up. We also got All-Star Dunks loaded up. This is one of the only retailers to have them loaded up like this. But anyways, Detail R, Shopify site goes out quick, but stock is totally decent. They usually don't have that much stock. In well, it also depends on your location. Take this with a grain of salt as well. Typically, online stock is all right from then. So is Jimmy Jazz at the end of the day. But once again, shoe Shopify stock flies. 
full, I'm telling you, just gone with the wind. That's just how they be rocking. It's very, very, um, my, uh, super itchy nose today. There was some crazy shit out in this city today. But anyways, it just flies too fast on Shopify. It's very, very easy to bot them nowadays. Of course, it depends on the site, but mostly like Shoop House as well, like we're talking about right now. They jump a lot of stock. They have around like 800 to 1,000 pairs total totality. Uh, I think around 800 for men's. And um, it's looking, that's decent stock. It's decent stock. They loaded up about a week ago. But still, it's going to go crazy. People running. I'm going to say at least like tens of thousands of people running bots on this site. Well, they've dropped an 800 pairs just just like that. Uh, like Thanos out here. But anyways, we got Concepts doing a raffle later on. I just, just want to talk about that. They have a raffle going on tomorrow. It's always They always post like a warning image. The day before Raffle goes live, say, oh, details to come. Raffle will go live tomorrow, probably around like 11 a.m. Eastern time to 2 p.m. Eastern time. Then we also have the uh, Dunk Raffle. Yeah, we have the Dunk Raffle going on tomorrow from them as well, just an FYI. But anyways, of course, you have your high to retailers are uh, releasing this shoe as well. You're going to, I can't seem to find Extra Butters post. Mm, backdoor action, maybe. No, they probably have an Instagram raffle going on. But your high-tier retailers like Kith is going to have these first-come, first-serve online in-store raffle once again. Um, a lot of your shops are just going to have first-come, first-serve. But anyways, manual boys, what I recommend. Finish line in JD Sports. Have that queue open at around 9.50 to 9.50 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, go on sneakers as well. Have sneakers open on your phone. Have on desktop computer if you have one. Finish line in JD Sports. Have those queues open. Uh, definitely recommend going on a Shopify site. You got Jimmy Jazz, you got Detailer, you got Concepts dropping online. You got Kith dropping online. They probably have good stock on these, so go for them. All, once again, all dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. I, people always ask me, like, when are they dropping? Always 10 a.m. any Jordan 1. So that's my recommendation for manual, boys. And of course, sneakers, you know, shoot your shot. Have multiple accounts, all that type of stuff. But men's pairs right now are looking pretty, pretty healthy. I mean, listen, they're not going to drop much. Lowest I've seen them probably dropping is like $400 asks, just around there. Might touch down to $380, but they ain't going lower than that. I'm willing to bet on that as well. Um, certain sizes may be possibly, all right, you got me there. Like a size, I don't know, let's see, like a 14, 13 might drop lower. Like they got ridiculously high asks for some reason, but they ain't going to stay like that for much, much longer. But these are a great shoe, a great investment, a great long-term hold. Now I get a lot of questions. How long should I hold them for? Yo, any shoe that I say hold, I say hold as long as you can. Mids, hold as long as you can. Dunks, eh, depends on the color, but hold as long as you can. Uh, that's also a little, a little different because it's so oversaturated for the time being. But Jordan 1s, hold for as long as you can. Jordan Retros, hold for as long as you can. They'll go up, but it just takes a lot of time. But of course, as I always say as well, if you don't have a lot of capital, it makes no sense in holding a shoe because you can't go for future releases. And if you have no capital, yo, just sell this shoe, baby. You're making a shit ton of money. You can cop two of these next time because you have enough profit to cover for two uh, retail pairs. Then you got GS over here. Uh, dude, I definitely hold GS pairs. If you're not going to hold men's, definitely hold GS. Going to go for the moon. These are almost going for more than men's. Like, it's wild, wild to see. Uh, a little bit of a different retail price, of course. There's about a $4 difference. And it correlates as well. $4 difference in retail. $4 difference in resale. So you guys can see prices right now are looking pretty, pretty profitable. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'd eat these shits up as much as I can. Damn, and then we got goat over here dropping them uh, and you guys can see it right now They're looking at just around 400 us dollars to 500 us dollars We got a size seven and a half which you guys can see is a very rare size seven men's and seven and a half men's is very very rare the Rest of them are pretty good now. What size to focus on all of them? Listen all of them just go for any size you can most stock sizes are between eight and a half to ten and a half just that's the most common size and most produced size but once again it does vary sometimes depending on stock and limited allocations but anyways that's about it for me in store wise checking with your local boutiques most will be still doing raffles so check in with them foot apps in store reservations snipes still didn't put out a raffle finish on you got raffle going on right now and that's pretty much your main main retailers carrying this hope you guys catch this w i wish everyone could catch a w watching this but you know nike gotta do what they gotta do i'll catch you guys the next one we'll be going in store for supreme dunks tomorrow and it's gonna get fun so i'll catch you guys then peace